Washington State again at home in the Palouse. In Pullman takes on the 11th ranked Ducks of Oregon. Habibi Likio is in the backfield. Number 33, Cyrus Habibi Likio. And they come with sweep action to Jalen Red. This is a brand new offensive front. They lost all five starters. And of course, you know about Panay Sewell, who opted out. He's got a future in the, the National Football League. Johnson's an outstanding receiver. They swing it out to C.J. Verdell. Both of them had a shot at it, the Carrera. <laughs> Verdell again. Nice. Well, he's outstanding catching passes out of the backfield. That guy runs a lot stronger than his size. Yes. Mario Cristobal has put together an outstanding program here. Founded on power with offensive line strength, albeit new. That's Jalen Red. Second down and ten. Play fake over the middle on the slant. And that one is caught by Devon Williams. Yeah, the That's the big boy spot. Historically, guys like Jerry Rice play that exposition and watch him nice move upfield and then inside cut. It's just a nice, simple in cut. But once again, the ball's on his back shoulder. If you put it in front of him, second down and 10. Let's we'll see if this communication yields something on that left side. Again, that little hitch, quick out, complete to the 30-yard line of Washington State, Josh Delgado. It's fourth down and two, huge play here. Sure tackling, Tammy, this is huge because Oregon has at least three players. They're hurting at tight end, but you got to make open field tackles against this athletic bunch. Look at this, little RPO action, and it's Chris Hudson, number 14, who's out there for the first down. Gain of four, second and six. Nice. There it is again, and they go to the tight end, D.J. Johnson, and touchdown. The play fake to Verdell, they froze. Touchdown last week was impressive. Only had about maybe five or six catches, but one of them included the touchdown. Tim, you can see the RPO executed to perfection there. They list five tight ends, and only one can go tonight. And the extra point by Camden Lewis is good. Great pressure that time by Avon Thibodeau. Well, first and 10 with great field position for the Ducks at their own 45. And a little curl pattern to Chris Hudson, his second catch of the night. He's a little short of the first down, a gain of nine and a half. Now the Ducks try to answer after the turnover. Verdell in the backfield. Nice. Right up the gut. You know, you can just run behind them. It's amazing to me how great this young offensive front is. <laughs> From the 40-yard line of Oregon, Cougars in great shape again after the second turnover of the night for the Ducks. No. Trouble, and he has to eat it. Yeah, you know, he just got a little bit too fidgety on that play. He corners have backed off now trying to protect themselves. Delora, he's got room to run. But look at that closing speed by Adrian Jackson, 29. The yeah. sophomore from Denver really closed in a hurry. And had that manifest itself in the way it has in this program has been impressive. Fired from his first job inappropriately, I might add. Saban picked him up, and the rest is history. Willie Taggart got him as an assistant coach. As you see, Tyler Shuck meander nine yards on first down. He'll be a yard shy of the first. A dynasty revisited in Eugene. Verdell. Past the 35 to about the 37, maybe the 38. Late flag comes down. It got a little chippy down there. Now look, Oregon got the job done a year ago. But in this building, the they've play. got one in six Personal years. Personal foul. Defense number 80. 15-yard penalty added to the end of the play. Automatic first down. Yeah Brennan, Marsh. Jackson, yeah, Brennan Jackson, the defensive end, apparently is underneath there. And there's that right arm. Yeah. See that little punch action, trying to punch yep. the ball out? Yeah. So Vinzi Bazil has come in at running back for the first time. Double deuce. Uh -oh. He dropped it. It's on the ground, but he picked it up. A fortuitous bounce as uh, Avon Thibodeau got on top of him to make sure that uh, he went no further. Well, Joe Moorhead is all about numbers, angles, and grass. Three priorities in his offense. Over the nice. middle and caught. It's red. 
And it's a first down out to the 40 yard line of Oregon. Second down 11. And he pulls it down. One read and go. Right? That's what we're yep. seeing from Shuck. And Here comes Mikel Wright. Plenty of wow. space. Look out. And he's up to the 40 yard line. Loves the speed, too. You know, he said, you remember he told us a story about riding someplace with Jerry, and Jerry was wanting to go fast or yeah. something. <laughs> Shuck trying to get something done before the intermission. Oh, There's a breakdown. Red is there wow. inside the five and down to the three. Jalen Red. The play of the night so far for the Ducks. All right, very important now. Only eight seconds, so I mean you can get two plays in in that amount of time, but one you suspect would have to be a field goal yeah, if you just wanted points. Yeah, but you got to throw this. You got to throw this to the edge. Burdell, he's in. Got it. That's touchdown. Wow. What an amazing way to finish this half. High school, and you can see he, he's only 5'9", about 205, but, man, he is compact. Gets in there and just pushes that right in, and, well, that's strong. It, it really surprised me on that call. Camden Lewis for the extra point. And, again, after all that we've seen in this first half, Aiden Hector with three turnovers for Washington State by himself. The lead is only going to be five at the break. Trying to fill those size 22s of Justin Herberts. Now with the Chargers. Tyler Shuck. Out pattern and a beautiful throw. Nice pass and catch. Wow. Delgado reels it in. <laughs> Second and seven. A design draw. Yeah, and there he goes. Shuck. Takes it inside the 40 to the 35. And just as was the case with Tommy Stevens. Got the edge now. Here we go. They go swing it out to Verdell. This is a favorite play for them. And he almost nets the necessary yardage. I think it's a yard shy of the first down. Twin tight end look. The extra tight end. Cooper Schultz. And there goes Verdell. An easy first down. And then some inside the 20 to the 18. Yep. Deion McIntosh has been on the field for every play but one tonight. And he carries it again oh, oh, oh. and is hammered by Noah Sewell. Yeah, Sewell, boy, is he so active. He's going to be a superstar for many years to come. And this guy is so active. Watch number one, identify and locate where he's going. Usually they work him with a twist route. No need to do it here. He goes straight for the ball. They... Second and five. Nice. Shovel oh, again. But they were ready this time. Oh, that went for big yardage, you might recall. We got a marker down to go with it. Oh, and it they, came from Bennett offense. Williams. Yeah, Bennett 65. Williams just burped him right there, man. Penalty. You can see number 15, down. watch him get in his Correct. laser sights and say, hey, we'll put that helmet right across the numbers. Woo. <laughs> Was Josh Watson, 65, the guilty party on the hold, come roaring back with that touchdown. At the end of the first half, although they were stymied, came up oh, scoreless, and there it goes Verdell, wide open. I mean, that thing opened up like the Red Sea. <laughs> Inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. And there was nobody inside, Tim, and he, just a little nice off-tackle play. You can watch there. Amave Laalua does a nice job of opening that thing up. Look out, Shook, bringing it down, picking it up and putting it down. And he's to the 15-yard line for a first down. He's on the preseason Bednarik, Butkus, and Nagurski Awards. First and 10. Shook, nice. over there it is, touchdown! It's Travis Dye, as if on cue. Lewis for the extra point. Dustin Jensen shot a 65 today and has a four-shot lead going into tomorrow. Wow. Look at this by Shuck. And they, everyone bid on Verdell. They all bid on him. And Tyler Shuck knew exactly what to do. I mean, great read by Shuck. 
Yeah, the pass is perfect. It's right where you wanted it, Spencer. Yep. Devin Williams, Devon Williams, stopped at the 31-yard line, and he is throwing a much more catchable ball as you directed at halftime. Yeah, and the shallow crossing routes, those are the routes that he needs to be more accurate on. you got a 6'5 wide receiver who's got a huge catch radius. Now, B.B. Likio, who's their tough goal line runner, they'll go heavy here. And there he Oh, oh nice what a move. He got play. it to Johnson. Wow. Wow. I, boy, he faked me out. I thought Likio was going to get it. As old Keith Jackson used to say, getting the job done for the <laughs> offensive line head coach. Oh, jet and sweep. red with a jet sweep trying to get away. And number eight, he had him wrapped. He won't let go. Wow, look at this He's guy. He's inside the five and down to the two. Unbelievable. And Spencer, you know what happened there? Brennan Jackson stopped tackling and started trying to strip him. And the moment he made that maneuver, Red just said, you know what? I'm going to the end zone. You're absolutely right. In the night that otherwise would have been stellar for number 80, Brennan does a nice job of getting there initially, but again, just trying to pick. And when you get down here, I'll yep. tell you what, that real estate is valuable. you got to keep him out of the end zone. Abibi Likio is in the backfield. And that's a play fake and a touchdown to Johnny Johnson. Haven't called his name tonight, but we do now. Touchdown for the senior from Chandler. Made a miraculous catch that didn't count a week ago. This one does. And it gives Oregon a bigger lead. Charles Smith Wade was back there trying to defend, but said from the beginning on special teams they came out with a bad attitude. Boy, those, those bubbles look so soft up front. Inside zone to the left looks so appetizing. McIntosh, that one was blown a great up by defensive Thibodeau. Play. Kayvon Thibodeau piercing through there. Right at the point of attack. And close that gap that looks so tantalizing up there. You can see him wide. You see all those big splits. Watch number five come down, but then bounce back out. Huge third down for the Cougars defense with 845 and counting. See the third down conversion ratio. Right straight pressure and then drop it to a single man. Here they Look. come. A game and deal. A wide open receiver though. Oh, beat the it's blitz. Travis Dye. There he goes. Touchdown. Ducks. The quack attack is back. And the die once again is cast, Timmy B. Can you beat pressure? Chuck, we talk about accuracy. It doesn't matter if it's shallow cross or over the top. Deep with accuracy, one of the requisite throws you've got to be able to make. Excited. The new off defensive coordinator for Washington State. I need to you dial up pressure. pressure. No question. And that's the risk and the reward, and that time it cost him. Quarterback draw, and Chuck is in there. Two-point conversion completed. And now the lead catapults to 14. For you. Who's that? Who's that? Tell you just a bit. Okay. Burdell. Stretching it out. Woo! Look out. CJ on the loose again. Out to the 47-yard line. Lie on your, your big front line and your salty running backs. Wow. Look at that. On the edge. Zone read. They go right to die. And look at him go. Every inch of it before their play. Yep. And Dye has it wide open. He is very close, if they're, not in. They're going to put him down at the one foot line yep. of the bubble. Here it is, the look right here. See, when your back moves over there, you got a little, an uncovered guard. Guys kind of get a little soft on that other side, Washington State. Well, they got better in this second half, that's for sure. I mean, they look good for the complete game against Stanford, but they improved. Bibi Likio, the. Outstanding short yardage runner goes in untouched to put it away. Well, here it is off that jet sweep back. And the extra point is good. And of course, the other big game of the weekend in that league is Bedlam, Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. <laughs> All those teams were off. Great defensive play there by Falulu sense of being tough as an old offensive lineman showing up. I think that's a big plus, too. Yeah. 43 to 29, Oregon.